welcome to today's video which might be our labour vlog. So we are currently in the hospital car park waiting to go in to be assessed. Just to backtrack a little bit, we had a growth scan, our final growth scan at 36 weeks last week and there was a bit of difference in size with the twins. So our baby boy twin was measuring up slightly smaller than the girl twin and he hadn't really grown much since our last scan and on his centile chart he was starting to plateau. They checked the flow from the placenta to him and everything seemed fine. Scans can be inaccurate they just don't know but they thought that they would get us in for an induction so we ended up having our, our induction date earlier than I was expecting it to be really. So we are here Today is the day they gave us to be induced, but as hospitals are, they can delay things and push things back. They have told us to come in for an assessment to see if they can pop my waters and get things moving. So yeah, we're going to go in and be assessed, see what they say. Who knows if we'll be staying in the hospital now and not coming home until we're coming home with our babies or whether we will be going home for like a short break in between. Who knows? It just doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel real. I don't know. I felt like in my head we still had another week of pregnancy and getting things up together and it's just all come around really really quickly now. I'm actually 37 plus two today which is exactly the same gestation that I had the twins when I gave birth to them, Harlow and Harper, my first set of twins. So it'd be interesting to know <laughs> You know, if these come on the same day, then they're going to be born basically the same gestation, which is quite sweet. Baby boy was lying in a really funny position. He's transverse at the moment, so it might have just been really hard for them to pick up weights. So we have got their estimated weights, but like everyone says, they always come out a completely different weight to normally what the consultants in that tell you. So who knows? But yeah, we're excited to yeah, meet these babies, hopefully, and just get them here check they're all safe and sound and meet them i feel like i can't picture them in my head yet I you know i just can't picture them we're still even we're not even decided on names or anything i feel like we're very we've been very relaxed this pregnancy and now it's all come round yeah. really really quick no and at the hospital we're at as well you can have two birth partners my sister's going to be my other birth partner because we don't know if we are going to be sent home there was no point in her coming with us right now just in case we do get sent home so if we do end up staying, then I'm sure she'll be joining us later on. So we have just got in to our room. I don't have to wear my mask right now, but Aid does have to wear his. I can take mine off so at least I can breathe. <laughs> I'm actually feeling quite flustered and getting nervous now. I don't know why. I guess because I just know that if labour is going to start, I've got to go through it and it doesn't feel real. It feels like everything's come around really quick. The whole like past couple of weeks, I've been so uncomfortable. The twins feel really, really low now. I have to wee like a million times in the night. And I was kind of really wanting to go into labour or to be induced and now it's actually come around it's actually scary but yeah i'll be glad to i don't know will i be glad it's bittersweet isn't think, it losing my bump i think it is time now though like you are struggling you're uncomfortable yeah it's time i'm struggling i am uncomfortable i'm very tired yeah it's time to they're only ready. getting heavier and bigger so i think they're ready yeah hopefully getting the babies monitored blue for boy pink for the girl <laughs> down at the bottom I've basically got the same heart rate again, so I don't know if it's picking up the same. Boy's not playing ball. Oh, here he is. He heard me say his name. Now he's gone. Now they're both gone. Okay. Just FaceTiming my sister. I've just had my lunch come through from the ward. So I went for meatballs, mash, sweet corn peas orange juice and my ice cream aid to just get in the rest of our bags i am loving the hospital bed i was saying to aid i need one of these at home so you can just go to sleep like sat up especially when you're pregnant and your bump it's just so uncomfortable lying down at night on your bumps this bed would be absolutely ideal but i might try and have a nap i really felt so sleepy earlier when i was on the monitor system but now i feel like the adrenaline's kicking in a little bit i'm like i really should nap because it's going to be a long <clears throat> night and day of trying to get these babies out if I don't get some sleep. 
So, sorry about the lighting, but I thought I'd give you all a little update. We've been in hospital now, how, many, how long did we say? <laughs> Five forget. hours. Five mm. hours. So, we came in and were monitored, so they put the monitors on both babies and just check their heart rates but because it's twins it's harder to get two different heart rates although they kept getting the two heartbeats the babies kept moving they were wriggling they were obviously having a really fun time in there they would have the two heartbeats and then one baby would move and then they'd be picking up the same heartbeat on both monitors so they like to try and do a 20 minute stretch of monitoring but they just couldn't get it with both heartbeats the midwife who was checking us over decided to go and ask the doctor whether we should have a scan to just see if the babies are all okay and then in the meantime i was internally assessed and they said that they could break my waters because i'm already two to three centimeters dilated so that was really exciting and nice to know but we have to wait for a space on the delivery suite or delivery ward because they don't know if there's anyone available or there's no one available at the moment we're literally waiting for a midwife to become available and they don't know who's going to come in and have their babies really so it's just a waiting game and they did say it could take four to six hours and we could go home but when she did go speak to the doctor because we are already being induced for baby boy's growth and because of the monitoring they now want to keep us in hospital basically so we're waiting here until we have the babies and until there's room on the delivery suite and they may come in and try and monitor me again Whenever, but it's about seven o'clock at night. We're getting quite tired. It's not exactly fun waiting around in the room. But that's where we're at, and we will just keep you updated. We found my little tea lights that she packed in my so hospital bag. Now you can relax. Now the most. <laughs> so I said to Ada, "Let's try one." Look at it. You've got to turn it on. It's on. You obviously didn't put a battery in. Oh look! <laughs> oh my! Oh my gosh! So relaxing. Oh, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> Can I have it in my corner? That is just what we need. Can I have it in the corner? Can I put it in the corner? <laughs> yeah, in your little this is, This is my man cave. <laughs> it, really make, it really makes something in this corner now. It's actually not that bad. Is it £1.50 for six? Where's the I don't think that's a bad... Well, in there. You brought one? No, I brought all of them. I brought well, 12. Let me set this scene then. Let me put well, them no, because we'll, we'll wait till we're in delivery, maybe. <sighs> Are you actually going to put them on? <laughs> <laughs> nice bum selfie. Come on, my boy and girl. I've just been taking off my makeup, so I hope I'm feeling a little bit more fresher. Oh, man. Stuck here waiting, so I thought I would use some of the face products which I packed in my hospital bag which came with my gifted set from something a little bit different I'll leave their page linked below so it's taking my place on the bed so and I am currently having a pamper as you can see I am having I'm using a face mask um which came in my set and why not what else to do whilst I'm waiting movie time Netflix cup of tea Cookies. This sucks. Julia, Mr. Stephanie, you're fine. Good job. Thank you very much. I'm a thousand percent that you can do this. Okay, you're so present and you've done so quick, you've happened so, happened so quickly that I think you'll be good, yeah. okay? Why that happened so quick? Because you've done really good. Definitely do what this lady says. Which is a good thing. <laughs> this is what we want. Okay. There is a contraction there, honey. Come on, I can't push, I can't push. Go on, your baby's coming. I can push, see come on. Push, push, push. You can push. push. You want to do Come on, squeeze. Chin down. She's not pushing today. Oh, oh, that's fantastic! Well, so well. well, you're absolutely amazing. Come on, Come on, Come on, Everything you've got, come on. Right down. This is the top. Just wish you can do it. Angelina, that's one building to me. Take the gas out your mouth. Just concentrate on that. Yeah. 
Concentrate on it. Well done. Big Come deep on. breath in. Can like you you've done with your other babies, you can do it. Come on. I want you to really you can show do it. Go you on, can right do down. It. You can do push it. Push with all your might. Go on. Push, really go, go for push it. it down. Yeah. Much more on a push. Much, 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 much. That's better. That's better. That's better. Yes. 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 Right down there. 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 Right down there.